I am proof that anybody can do ballooning. Okay, so it might not be like super complicated, but that doesn't matter. You just have to learn some very, very basic things like the pinch twist and, um, well, that's probably about it. Just your normal twist, tie a balloon <laughs> and you can make things like this. I was very pleased because I made this the other day all by myself. It, of course, is a shield and all you need are two different colour balloons and your pump and you're good to go. Now, I did not research any other shield videos on the internet. This is totally out of my head, which is why it's proof that even if you've got mummy brain, which is what I had when I first started, you too can come up with your own designs. It just takes a little bit of puzzle solving. Hello, my name is Joy slash Fairy Liquid and I'm from the magical land of Jing Jang Ju Jong. And yes, today I'm Joy. I'm not actually Fairy Liquid, so I don't have my rainbow wig on. I don't have all my makeup on. I've just got me and my wrinkles and my roots and stuff like that. But who cares? Um, I'm not entertaining kids today, but I am here to entertain you to entertain kids. Let's get started. Now I'm going to blow up one and I'm just going to leave a little bit at the end. This is a 260. And I'll show you, I'm just, I'm just gonna let a bit out because I blew it up a little bit too much. So tie that like you normally would. It's quite soft now, this balloon, but that's okay. So if I just squidge it back down again, you'll see I've got about four or maybe five. We're gonna do a few twists with that. Might blow this one up slightly more because this one is gonna be the outside of the shield and so it's less twists and turns. So the inside of the shield is basically a cross. Okay, so we've got my green balloon and look, Two of my children there on the beach and one the other one the third one she was in my tummy at the time that that was taken anyway um so we're going to start with a what's called a, an ear twist or a pinch twist so this is one of your basic ones that you need to learn so we just twist it a few times and then use the noddle nozzle hold that in and just um twist it round and around and around so it looks like a little ear so that can be called an ear twist or a pinch twist and now we're going to do the uh, probably about four fingers in Basically, you see that stops it unraveling. I'm going to use my hand there. And we're going to do the other side of the T now. So it's just another four. Oh, poo. Right, don't worry about that. So it's another four fingers. So, right, so let's just do that again. One, two. Right, and then hold on to that. We're going to do a small bubble like that one there. Twisting it round, pull that one up and around like that. And then just going to squeeze that into there and turn it around at the same time. Remember, lift it up high so we don't have so much friction. So next we're going to do the up bit of the cross. <laughs> Let's do the up bit. So it's about the same length as that. Um, so we're going to go twisty, twisty, twisty. And then we're going to do another pinch twist at the end. I'm not going to let go of my other ones this time because it will all unravel. I would put it under my arm, except I'm showing you on this video. And then pull that up. We're basically just doubling over and coming all the way back again into that cross section there. So let me get this the same distance. Right, put those together, round and around we go. There we are. Um, well, actually, it doesn't matter which way round it goes. Now. Oh, look at that lovely, that could be a lovely sword, couldn't it? But we're not going to use that. Uh, so now I'm going to look at how much I've got left. So I need to use, I need to have a little bit to tie at the end. I need to have that much. So about there. And then the rest I need to divide into half. So approximately there is how long this bit can be. So actually I'm just going to make it a little bit shorter just to be on the safe side like that. Okay, so now that's our cross. I'm going to do another ear twist and turn it around like that. Back down here. If I ever wanted, right, if I'd run out of balloon, it doesn't matter that that's, that's on its own. If I'd run out of balloon, I could, I could just do that, yeah, and have that on its own. It doesn't need to be doubled up, but we will double it up this time. So twisty, twisty, so that's, and that are the same length there. Twist that together. And then that's going to go into there like that. Twisty, twisty. Oh, he's come away. How dare you? All right. Just poke it underneath here like that. All right, this bit's spare. So this is when you can do your magic 
balloon ripping technique, which I just can't do, sorry. So I shall get a trusty pair of zebra scissors. And whee, let's get rid of that. You don't have to tie it off, but I'm going to. And let's pass it through there. Right, get that out of the way. Might need to just snip the end off because it's rather long. Chunk, we have got our basic cross. Get up there. So all we need to do now is literally just attach our purple balloon to the green one. So I'm going to start down at the bottom and by just putting the nozzle round. Like that. And then we're going to attach that bit into there. So I'm going to twist it first, I think. Bend it over. Of course, there are some really wonderful, wonderful designs that are out there that are more complicated and just look wonderful. But here's just, just one that I don't even have to use my brain for. And it's fairly quick. So it's the quickest you're going to be able to do. I can't think of a quicker one. Well, maybe there is a quicker one, but I haven't researched it. So now we're going to, I'm going to make another twist at the centre point of there. Put it through. Oi. Go around a couple of times. There we are, and then back down to that one. back round to that one if i'd started there then what i will end up doing is having the handle like that but because i've started here i will have the handle going back down that way so i'm just going to make sure that that's the right length and twist that into there as well okay i think that will be the front because i like the way it's kind of pushing outwards slightly we are and then this is going to form our handle back round that way like that so it doesn't have to be massive because you know nice you can go on the child's arm like that if it's too big it's i don't know it's kind of a bit silly really so um i don't need all of that so here come the zebra scissors scissors and we <laughs> let's get rid of that there we go and then nice and easy to tie onto there like that and we turn it around that's what it looks like if you had a little bit of spare you could put a little um jewel like another little purple jewel in the middle which would look quite pretty but there you have it you have got your shield and i made these at the party at the weekend i did i did two different colors and they particularly liked interestingly because the first one you saw was nice and shiny the other one i did was england colors red and white and the birthday boy chose that one perhaps because he was also a football fan. I played a brilliant game where the birthday boy sat on his dad's shoulders and held one of these. I made a balloon hat, you can see in the link below the video for the balloon hat, and of course a sword. And they had to knock off the helmet of another boy on his dad's shoulders. So it was quite funny, a little bit of jousting going on there. And shall I just show you one more thing? Guff the Magic Dragon also made his debut. Hello! <laughs> And the children got to see some very terrible ventriloquism from me. By the way, he's called Guff the Magic Dragon. Because I can't pronounce my peas. <laughs> Do you get it? He can't pronounce his peas. So it's not Puff the Magic Dragon. He's Guff the Magic Dragon, who has a special skill set related to his name, which we shan't go into. Keep subscribed for more top party tips and ballooning tips. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.